Hey guys, was geht ab and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix skin colors and correct red skin. <laughs> Let's go! Alright, so we're here in Photoshop and as you can see the fingers are a little bit more red, a little bit more orange than the rest of the skin. So we definitely want to correct it. And it's pretty easy actually. You just have to create a new adjustment layer, hue and saturation. The next thing you need to do is to click on this little icon here and click on the part or the image you want to adjust. In this case, it's the fingers, but it obviously works for every kind of red tone issues. All right, so we click on the fingers and as you can see, Photoshop automatically recognize that we are in the red tones. To see which colors are included, we increase the saturation to 100. And as you can see, it's pretty useless right now because we actually selected the whole body. So all red skin tones are selected, but we only need to select the colors on the fingers. So to do that, we just need to shrink this area a little bit, for example, like this. And now you slowly see how the area gets smaller. We can, we can do it even a little bit more, maybe like this. And now we just move this slider until we have the colors we need. So for example, it would be something like this. This looks pretty good because it's only on the fingers. And then the only thing you need to do is you need to decrease the saturation and we already got quite a good result. But the problem now is that it looks a little bit gray. So we want to increase the, the saturation a little bit again. And then we want to use the hue slider to adjust the hue of the color on the fingers. All right, I think that looks quite good. And we can maybe increase the lightness a little bit because they are a little bit dark. The only thing we need to take care of now is that only the fingers are affected because at the moment, for example, her lips are affected as well. And we obviously don't want that. So all you need to do now is to select the layer mask and press Ctrl or Command I to invert the layer mask so that it's black. Now the layer doesn't affect the image at all. The next step is to select the brush tool and while as a foreground color, adjust the brush to a nice size and then just brush over her fingers so that they are affected perfectly and the rest of the image is not affected. As you can see, we got a perfect result. As I said before, you can use this technique for every kind of skin color issue. So for example here, we got quite a green shine on her body I don't know why, it's probably because of my bad editing skills. I was very unsure on this image, what look I want, and it's probably caused by that. But it's not a problem at all, because all we need to do is to create a new hue and saturation layer, click on this little icon, click on, her, on the part of the image we want to adjust, increase the saturation and then decrease the area of colors we are adjusting, and then move this slider a little bit, and as you can see, we are quite good in this area probably. And then you just decrease the saturation and now you can really see how gray the skin gets. So we don't want that. We just adjust the hue in this case and we will just figure out a good skin color, probably like this. Yeah, this looks pretty good. And as you can see now, the hue and saturation layer again affects the whole image. But in this case, I quite like it because it looks warm back there. But yeah, if you don't like it, just invert the layer mask again with Ctrl or Command I, use a white brush and paint over the areas you want to affect. As easy as that, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, that's already it. Thanks for watching. And if you liked that video, maybe check out my other videos on my YouTube channel because there's a lot more to learn and there's also some free stuff in my shop so definitely check it out and I will see you in the next video. Bye!